Post-game press conference with head coach uh, Todd Hoffner. We'll begin with a statement from coach, then we'll open it up to questions. Thanks, Nick. Um, obviously, a uh, very physical, um, offensive run-orientated uh, Sioux Falls team. They obviously did a really good job of getting yardage on the ground. They did what they had to do in the passing game. Um, but, you know, we have to be able to stop the run. Uh, more importantly, and most importantly and evenly, uh, we have to be able to run the ball ourselves. We did that intermittently. Um, gallant comeback effort <clears throat> once again uh, in the second half and the third quarter. And then uh, we just couldn't put any, any more points on in the fourth quarter until the last minute. You know, it's so surreal. This game is almost identical to the last game, <laughs> only they passed a little bit more exact same score. We score with less than a minute to go in the game, uh, the whole nine yards. So it's a, it's a tough, tough deal. I'm really saddened for these seniors uh, to not send them out on a positive note. You know, as coaches, we got to do a better job of coaching, putting our players in a position to make plays. And, uh, you know, we got beat by a good football team. You know, obviously they're six and three for a reason and they're obviously still in the hunt for a south division championship and they're not very far out from an overall championship so quality football team uh, you know we've got a lot of work to do and we've got to pick up the pieces and try and rally and hopefully win a football game coach seeing like the last couple of times the big plays killed you all day long and i talked about the big plays against you yeah, you know, a lot of them today, I think, were in the run. You know, they did have some big pass plays, but a lot of them were on the ground. You know, I think they had, uh, you know, at least three 30-yard uh, or more touchdown runs. Um, some of them might have been 50 yards or more, 60, 70. Uh, and you just can't do that. You know, we've got to have pursuit. We've got to have the ability to make plays in tight spaces. Uh, I thought they were very physical. Um, we just, uh, we, we didn't have enough support uh, to get there uh, and stop them. And they looked really fast today. We did not look very fast. And, you know, obviously that young man has got some good speed. And, you know, they're, they're a really good football team. And uh, defensively, they're very salty. And, and uh, big plays on offense, you got to make them. Defense, you can't give them up. And I think running the football, we got to run better. We want to get over 200 pretty confident we didn't get there uh, they definitely were over 200 and so you know that's the that's the story of the game in a nutshell you know their ability to run the ball our ability to not keep our you know our ability we did not keep our defense off the field we did for a while in the third quarter uh, a little bit in the fourth but we just couldn't muster up enough to finish the game and, and make it interesting one more forget the X's and O's Coming to this game, you wanted this one for the seniors more than anything. Yeah. Talk about this year's seniors. What was the question again? Talk about what this year's seniors meant to this team. Oh, these seniors were amazing. You know, we have uh, eight guys that were, um, this is their sixth year at Minnesota State, so they got here in the fall of 2016 and redshirted. And, and uh, you know, their first season, a lot of them was undefeated season in 17, 18, 19. Most of those guys redshirted in 16 and almost all of them. And, you know, they stuck around, they came back, and then we had some other guys. We had one young man that's graduating early due to COVID. So, you know, um, all 17 seniors, uh, it, it's tough when some guys weren't in the rotational starting. They didn't get a chance to play today. Um, we didn't do enough to win a football game, but. You know, it, it saddens me that we can't uh, lead these guys having lead. We can't get them a win and lead Blakesley Stadium with a positive impression because every team before had won their last game at Blakesley during the regular season. And we had a winning record at home at Blakesley and this year we're 500. So uh, a lot of work to do as coaches and as this falls on our shoulders. Thanks, Coach.